Oh, no. no. I, 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 propo I propose you uh, that the, uh, each group uh, do its own presentation. And after that, I show you how we can manage or how I manage that kind of subject. Yes, you that sounds agree? good. So you agree? So yes. now, now, if you don't mind, I show you how I plan to manage the uh, uh, the uh, uh, operation with uh, with uh, Sandoria. Okay. Yes. Sounds good. Please. Please okay. Yes. Okay. May I uh, may I share my screen? Uh, I will give you the. Okay. I will give you... Yes, you can share your screen. Okay. Yes, but I mm. Okay, so uh, is it okay for you? You see something, yeah? Yeah, we see something. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, as mentioned previously, it is not the, the way to proceed, but a way to proceed. So, uh, the essential in management of change is that you cover all, all items uh, from the framework uh, to the KPI, the performance indicator, and uh, uh, va, va, that's all. The essential is to, uh, is to fix, is to fix uh, everything uh, properly. So for me, if I look at the, uh, this exercise, I have in charge to analyze a new operation in adverse weather condition, so for scent. Uh, basically, basically for, the, for my network, it should be Le Caire, it should be Beirut, it should be Niamey in Africa, Nouakchott in Africa, or Pekin. Uh, so basically, it was to, uh, to start a new flight uh, to that kind of destination, for example. Uh, so first, uh, what kind of hazard or threat may I face with during that kind of operation? So I need to identify the, the scope, the scope of the job, and uh, for for example, also I need to gather uh, what is already in place in terms of procedure uh, regarding the uh, flight safety. Uh, so this is uh, this is. Uh, my first question, what are the flight safety impacts? Where are the flight safety impacts? Okay. But the reason why I need to clearly identify the phenomenon, to clearly describe the phenomenon, in order to take uh, into account the relevant expert uh, from ground, from flight, from maintenance, from dispatch, for example, because uh, as I discussed with uh, the member of the group previously, everybody, when you have a flight expert, everybody think about, uh, think about the engine shutdown due to, due to sand. Yes, but when you operate to such airport, you fly, okay, uh, so you may face with some uh, in flight shutdown, but also uh, during the stopover, uh, la, uh, you may face with a problem regarding the maintenance of the aircraft or regarding uh, auxiliary power unit, as mentioned by the group, or, or, or all, all, all uh, or over, over uh, phenomena. So you need to describe uh, uh, precisely the, the phenomenon and if you are impacted or not. Because the difference between uh, going to an airport during a sandstorm and flying over uh, a sandstorm, it is not the same case. So uh, in, my, in, my, uh, in my study, I try to analyze operation to an airport and 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 uh, stay stay over at the airport. So for that, I need 
to uh, describe uh, strictly, uh, sharply the phenomenon. I have to take into account who people are involved in, uh, in the phenomenon. So ground people, flights, maintenance also. Uh, uh, I check what kind of airplane I plan to do to do the to, to, to do the flight. Is it all airplane? Is it just a specific one? So I need to verify also also the type of airplane. And after I need to collect uh, uh, what is uh, already existing regarding uh, the uh, that kind of issue for flight, for example, uh, all procedure. Uh, needed uh, by the flight crew to fly uh, into that kind of uh, weather condition. Maintenance uh, the same. I have to have a look at the procedure regarding uh, the uh, the maintenance uh, the maintenance during that kind of operation. Dispatch for sure also because they provide us the flight file. So they provide to the crew uh, the, uh, the notams, the weather data, and so on regarding the uh, regarding the uh, that issue. And uh, at the end, also a ground handler, uh, because uh, if you operate an aircraft during a sandstorm, if you if you load and load, uh, if passenger embark or disembark during that kind of operation perhaps you may face with some additional or potential risk. So first step would be, should be, should be uh, like that. After that, who will be involved in my, in my, in my team to, to, to perform such a study? For sure a flight, a lot, Perhaps, perhaps a training organization. I don't know why not. Fly safety officer, yeah, for sure. Uh, training organization. Perhaps uh, it should be interesting to have some expert from training organization uh, to to see uh, if we develop a specific training. How do how do we do that uh, via e-learning, uh, via, uh, uh, via some training session in simulator, via, I don't know. So uh, we need to analyze that. Uh, also, uh, we need cabin, uh, cabin uh, within our, within our uh, team uh, because uh, cabin are part of the crew of the flight crew and uh, and uh, they perhaps have uh, some some process procedure to take into account in case of uh, 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 flying in uh, what kind of uh, weather condition uh, the maintenance for sure because they will be in charge uh, at the end of the flight to check uh, to check engine to check uh, the uh, uh, probes of the airplane uh, to check a lot of things. So for sure, maintenance guy uh, should be there. Uh, dispatch also because the dispatch are part of the uh, fly monitoring, fly following uh, processes. So uh, dispatch is also is also really interesting uh, to to help us uh, during uh, during this uh, this study and ground handling uh, because. Uh, yeah, uh, either you travel passenger, you 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 transport, you you carry passenger or you carry uh, cargo, but uh, for sure at the end you have to uh, to deplane or to uh, flood uh, everything. So, in my opinion, it should be to make up the team with experts coming from this discipline. I continue my, my study and to to analyze to analyze uh, this uh, this issue. Uh, I need some feedback, so uh, I have something similar in my operation, uh, which is volcanic ash. Volcanic ash is more or less very close uh, to the sand uh, problem, so uh, I can uh, collect. Uh, all safety reports, uh, all audit, uh, 
all lessons learned uh, via benchmark regarding either uh, sand, sand issue or volcanic ash, because at the end, procedure will be, will be very similar. So second time, I collect everything, I perform some feedback, uh, some benchmark also, uh, and feedback is also interesting to go to the, uh, uh, to the operator uh, going on that kind of, uh, on that kind of import. After that, yeah, for the benchmark, we look at uh, the over, over airline, over Grand Handler, over maintenance repair organization and so on, uh, to avoid, as mentioned very often, not to reinvent the wheel. Uh, it is not necessary to do that. And go, and go straight to the procedure in order to, to check uh, that everything will be in place if we, at the end, uh, decide to operate uh, in such condition. So for that, we can go and see uh, Middle East Airlines, Emirates. We saw that Emirates has no specific requirement. Okay, Etihad, uh, Etihad uh, sandstorm have to be avoided. So we have some policies. Emirates has no policies for that. So it's captain decision. Uh, Etihad has, uh, has some, uh, some policies, sandstorm, have to be avoided. So when you write something like that, you see that dispatch is essential in your flight uh, because the dispatch will be in charge to follow sandstorm, to send all information to the crew and so on and so on. So you have via two, via two, two, two airline, uh, you have some, uh, some guidelines uh, regarding uh, how to operate, how over airplane operate, over uh, uh, over operators, sorry, uh, operate uh, during uh, during sand operation. So, I uh, I have uh, I have my my study framework. I have my team. Uh, I have collected uh, all interested data. I have performed some feedback, and now uh, I start to work with my team, and I start to work. So, what kind of tools? Uh, Botai, Botai seems uh, seems relevant for that, and I try to uh, to analyze, to define what are the worst cases, and uh, what is my threat list or hazard list. Never mind. Uh, so we start, uh, we start that uh, in order to see after that if we are well protected, if our defenses are strong enough, or if the defenses are a little bit weak. And in that case, if we operate in such condition, we need uh, to add uh, some uh, additional uh, recommendations. Okay, and uh, at the end, uh, I try to analyze the potential consequences for each scenario. Okay, so you see, you see step by step, how can I uh, manage uh, that kind of studies? I continue critical scenario. What could be the worst case for everybody? Okay, example, high send concentration in flight with impact on engine and auxiliary power unit. So, the group discuss about that. Okay, worst case, uh, multiple engine failure, in-flight shutdown, sorry, I'm sorry. Multiple in-flight in -flight shutdown, okay. And the accident in bracket, in bracket you have the, the potential accident, loss of control in flight. If you, if you, if you lost uh, uh, the trust, if you lost all engine, uh, so it will be difficult uh, to, to fly as a glider and to go to destination. So uh, you may face with a loss of control. So I consider, I, the group, the group consider that, okay, worst case will be a multiple uh, engine, uh, engine in-flight shutdown, sorry. 
second, uh, second uh, fret, second fret, yeah. High concentration in fly, impact flight instrument. Okay, pito, static props. Uh, that means for, for, for those of you who are not pilot, if, if you don't have correct information via flight instrument, that means uh, speed of your aircraft, altitude of your aircraft, for example, uh, so you, it will be a, li a little bit tricky uh, to continue the flight. And sand, if uh, sand uh, enter the uh, props, uh, you, may, you may face with some uh, discrepancy in your uh, flight parameter. And worst case also, uh, worst case will be loss of parameter, loss of parameter, and the example, the accident family should be loss of control in flight also. So you see that with the, the, the first two examples, the first two threat, uh, sand concentration in uh, engine and uh, auxiliary power unit or concentration of flying instrument, you may lead to a major accident with severity, with a maximum severity. We continue and uh, so uh, I, I saw you on this table for threat, but you can limit to, to some threat or you can add over. It just, we are just looking at the worst case. Uh, because it is it is what it, it's interesting to to, to work. Uh, so I send concentration during approach and landing with impact on windshield on or landing performance. What is it difficult is that for the manufacturer Airbus or Boeing. I don't remember Boeing, but I know very well Airbus. Uh, you don't have any uh, cues. Uh, regarding the performance, takeoff or landing performance during uh, with send on the runway. Uh, so uh, once again, it will be captain decision or company policy. Okay, what will be what will be the worst case in that in that case? Loss of external reference because. Uh, regarding uh, the windshield problem, uh, because the sand is very abrasive and, uh, and you may lose the uh, external reference. And regarding landing performance, uh, braking action not very, not very good. Uh, runway, runway contamination uh, too, too, too important. And you may, uh, you may reach a runway excursion as an accident family. At the end, at the end, uh, sand accumulation during stopover. So you land, you land at, your, at your airport and uh, you stay uh, uh, three hours, 24 hours, it depends on your, on your, on your uh, schedule. And uh, if you have too much sand accumulation on the wings, on the engine and so on, uh, the worst case uh, will be uh, to cancel uh, your, your flights. Okay, so you see that I took, I took, no, the team uh, took also uh, four threats and tried to analyze worst case. It is not necessary to, to spend a lot, a lot of time to, to, to reinvent some threat or some worst case. You see that if we take just four, uh, four fret, we take into account the flight, we take into account flight instrument. So we take into account engine, engine and uh, uh, all turbines. We take into account instrument, we take into account performance and stopover. So we have a, a, a comprehensive view, a comprehensive view of the, uh, of the situation. After that, what, what next? I try to use a bow tie for each, oops, sorry. I try to use bow tie for each uh, uh, scenario, threat and worst case, 
and I play and I play the bow tie with what I have already in place. Uh, basically, uh, the uh, dispatch process, flight procedure, cabin procedure, maintenance, so on, ground handling, and so on. So left hand side, the barrier to avoid the loss of uh, loss of uh, trust loss. Sorry, and right hand side, the accident. Uh, that should be uh, either multiple uh, inflation down or loss of control or loss of uh, parameter, flight parameter. Okay. And after that, I use my, my, my tricks and I play uh, each, each element to, to, to perform a risk, a risk evaluation, a risk assessment. First one, accident scenario. No, 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 even uh, leading to uh, inflation down. So uh, uh, I remind you, I take, I consider, I try to evaluate, to assess the risk of high concentration in flight with impact on engine or uh, auxiliary power in it, leading to a multiple inflation down. Okay. Keep in mind, keep in mind that uh, that way to proceed. Uh, I consider that this scenario, no, no event leading to inflation down, in total inflation down. I check, I check the ICAO database, I check the EASA database, uh, I call a lot of partners in IATA and so on. Nobody faced with that. So I consider that most probable scenario engine or APU major damage is extremely improbable. I consider like that, okay? So I consider that I am in, in section two. Why? Because in the statistics, in my, uh, in my benchmark, in all reports all report I have already uh, read, neither we face with that. So I consider as improbable. You can consider as extremely improbable because never happened. But I just stop at uh, improbable. Okay, so for me, it's 2A, risk level, risk level 2A. Why 2A? Because the accident scenario will be loss of control and loss of control will be uh, catastrophic. Okay, so for me, this, uh, this scenario is assessed as 2A, okay? Uh, I continue. And I do that for all, all, all threats. I do just one, but, but basically at the end, you do that for, for, for everything, for, for all four for items, okay? Uh, so, what happened next? I have to uh, put in place an action plan. Oh, I have to put in place an action plan regarding what kind of operation. Either I, I cancel or I, I avoid the more severe fencing phenomena. How? Via the flight preparation. Airport is not accessible, it's not considered as adequate as accessible, or if it is in flight, I propose or I perform a diversion. I require by uh, operation policy to uh, perform a diversion. So you see that either during flight preparation or in flight, the participation of dispatch is essential because dispatch will monitor our flight, will monitor the uh, weather tendencies and, and will inform will inform the crew in case of in case uh, diversion is required. Okay, so according to my study, either I avoid that kind of phenomenon or I try uh, to put some limitation in my operation. Limitation of consequence in case of unforeseen phenomenon. We have two aspects. We know, we know that over Le Caire, we have a sandstorm. 
we go, we do not go, we divert, so and so. Okay. But second aspect, we fly to the care. During the flight preparation, no major issue regarding a sand phenomenon. And during flight, huh? probability of sand phenomenon. So we are in case of unforeseen phenomenon, for example. So we, in that case, okay, we develop a, a standard operation procedure, a piece. And for example, what, we, what will be the procedure? Do not use the reverse on ground. Do not use the auxiliary power unit. You may add other thing, for example, but basically it should be, it should be regarding reverse and, uh, and uh, auxiliary power unit. Take into account that the runway is contaminated, so it's up to uh, uh, the, the, despite we don't have any 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 information from the manufacturer, captain decision take additional margin when uh, calculate the uh, landing performance. Uh, in addition, regarding the uh, maintenance aspect, uh, we have to carry out a flyaway kit to protect engine during the stopover, to protect props during the stopover. And uh, also, for example, uh, when you perform your, your walk around uh, before leaving the gate, uh, do that very strictly and enhance your walk around uh, and look uh, precisely to the engine, look precisely to, uh, to the holes, for example, to the wings and so on and so on. Okay, so once you have this time, once you have uh, uh, developed your, your plan and uh, every, every expert, all experts agree with your, with your plan, uh, it's necessary to assign each, uh, each element to somebody. Uh, so for example, uh, SOP uh, uh, to the flight department or cabin department, fly away kit uh, to the maintenance department or to, uh, or to the ground handler. So, uh, and so on and so on. If you develop some item regarding flight monitoring, uh, somebody from dispatch will be in charge of that. So when, you have developed, uh, established your action plan. You, you you need to associate it, to associate, to assign somebody to 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 that, and for sure also uh, within a time uh, time uh, frame, uh, you have to put. For example, uh, I recommend uh, I recommend to put in the hall the uh, flyaway kit. Uh, okay, but. Uh, when, uh, when, how, and so on. So you have to define that. Uh, and at the end, so you put in place, uh, you put in place a plan with a safety plan. Uh, you write a safety plan with a lot of, lot of safety recommendation uh, regarding uh, training, regarding handler, regarding subcontractor, regarding a lot of things. And uh, at the end, uh, yeah, uh, is, it, is it effective or not? What I put in place is effective or not? And how to check that? Basically, you, you, you always have the same panel. It will be audit, perform after a few, few weeks, few months. It will be a key performance indicator. It will be survey. Uh, it will be uh, observation. It will be interview. Uh, you may have uh, you may have a lot of a lot of a lot of elements, uh, lot of element regarding uh, regarding that. Uh, so okay. So what? Up. Oh. Ah. Okay. So uh, this is a way uh, to to manage to manage what kind of uh, management of change. 
I'll try to stick to the methodology I provide you, but you can, depending, depending on, on the subject, depending on the team, depending on a lot of things, uh, you, may, uh, you, you, you may skip a little bit and, and not to skip, to, 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 to stick uh, strictly uh, to the process. But this is a way uh, to, to manage, to manage a such, such issue. Well, what is your, your feedback regarding uh, this, uh, this example? Hello? It's perfect one if we follow up on the procedure like you. Hello, hello? Yes, we are here. We're still listening. Ah. Okay. Did you did you did you listen to me correctly or not? Yeah, yeah, correctly. If we perform on the procedure like you guy, uh, we have the perfect one. Okay. Uh, so regarding my uh, once again, it is not the truth. It's a, it's a way to manage. It's a way to proceed. Uh, and you cover roughly, you cover every, everything. How do you, what, what is your feedback regarding that kind of uh, management? Did you understand everything? Because it is, it is very, very, uh, very pilot oriented, but I'm, I'm very sorry, I'm very involved in that. So it, it's a little bit more difficult to, to speak about other things. But uh, do you, uh, uh, do you, uh, do you understand a little bit uh, what is the management of change and how we can manage that? Yes, sure. Uh, we follow, uh, you have a process like this and we have to apply from the beginning with the uh, own step by step. Okay. Any, any question uh, from uh, other people regarding uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, example? No. Okay, we move. Uh, we move to the to which uh, which case? The second group. Yeah. Okay, the second group. Present. The second group. Okay, second group. Uh, it was uh, regarding uh, which uh, which is. Okay. I'm sure the PowerPoint. Okay, second group uh, exercise uh, incoming aircraft uh, coming uh, uh, incoming aircraft with an APU failure. Okay. Okay, group two has a presentation, so we're gonna share. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of group number two, my name is Ang. I'm a captain 321 aircraft, uh, uh, Airbus Air 321. And uh, um, on behalf of the group number two, I will be the presenter today about the situation that uh, incoming aircraft with the uh, APU uh, failures. So uh, for the flight crew, you all know that the, uh, the procedure for 
maybe you tell us already. But uh, I will take some time to explain a little bit about what is the difference between uh, normal operation and uh, APU failure operation. As you may know that the aircraft is uh, equipped with uh, the two main engines and then the, uh, the small one we call the APU, auxiliary power unit at the back of the aircraft. The APU will supply the um, uh, uh, air conditioning and um, the electric for general. After we are landing and taxi to the, uh, the gate, the flight crew will start the APU uh, power for supply electric and air conditioning for passenger comfort after we stop at the parking and shut down the main two engine. That is the uh, normal operation. And then for some time we got the APU failure at arrival. Then we don't have a um, backup electric and uh, air conditioning at the parking. Uh, let's imagine if we shut down the both engine, the main engine at the, that time. So the total aircraft will be uh, no electric and no uh, air conditioning at all. And this is very uh, complicated situation. Passenger may feel not comfortable and then the, the procedure to start again for the next flight is, you know, maybe it's not very complicated. So uh, in our case, uh, we have the uh, incoming aircraft with the APU failure as a safety event. So we saw that if we are not prepared for the case, so um, we got the uh, engine running while we are waiting for the ground power unit to arrive. Maybe we got the uh, equipment collision between the uh, ground power vehicle uh, air conditioning vehicle approaching the aircraft and then human error. Uh, Sometimes you saw the ground, um, uh, ground personnel, they, they approaching the aircraft without seeing that the engine is still running or not, right? It is what we see is the potential cause for this safety event. And uh, by the way, it is the, the, the main uh, difference situation, and we call that is a change. And a change has to be uh, managed. That's, what, uh, that's why we are here in this class to uh, prepare and then to exercise the uh, change management for this uh, safety situation. Uh, for sure that um, if the safety event, it just happened one time only, we may not use the uh, chain management to assess it because you know it's happened only one in the lifetime, so no need. But for the uh, APU failure, it's happened many times, and especially for flight crew, sometimes we 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 consider APU failure is a normal operation. Aircraft may continue working normally without the APU. We just need the ground power, we need an air conditioning at the arrival. Is enough. And then uh, I think that uh, to manage this change, we need to uh, um, to do the data collection also. We need to do the data collection that, um, for example, in this season, how many times this happened. And then we do the analysis to get the, uh, uh, the, the uh, you know, getting to know uh, deeply about our safety situation. And then we, uh, after we do the uh, data collection and analysis, so we will uh, we will get other department into our uh, process. Here we see that we will have uh, four main department will get involved. First one is a flight crew. The second one is uh, operational uh, centers. The third one is vehicle is the um, maintenance uh, subsidiaries. And the last one is uh, in, um, what we call the uh, ground service, ground service company. 
And we saw that that's very important to get all of the department working together. So uh, we um, next step is uh, we are uh, we group all the department together with the headquarters and uh, we develop the policy documentation for this safety event. And then we will have some uh, more detail in the um, control measure. It's like a pilot procedure, operational center coordination, grounds uh, service company procedure and staff, <clears throat> grounds uh, service company equipment together with the uh, vehicle uh, procedures. Each of the department here will help us to develop their own procedure to avoid the mistake may happen during the time we handle this uh, safety event. And if them working uh, properly and uh, working uh, coordination, uh, good coordination together, so the rest is considered is normal because all the change we already managed. But if um, one of the department or maybe one of our staff during that safety event, they are making a mistake. So uh, we still have the recovery procedures. It's also cover them, uh, their mistake and error because you know that all of us is making mistake and uh, error every day we do uh, research and we found out that for every five phase cabin crew and flight crew they are making average two mistake every flight phase. so we consider it no one making no mistake and no errors so we we thought that people are making mistake so we have a recovery measures it's like, okay, for example, uh, we have a vehicle alertness. If someone from uh, ground service company approaching the aircraft, why the engine is still running? So the vehicle technician, they have to stop them, all right? Notice the flight crew to immediate shut down the engine. At that time, we don't care about aircraft have no electricity anymore. We care about the safety of the people are approaching the aircraft. We shut down the engine immediately. And then later on, we connect the electrical. It's okay. Passengers will feel a little bit com not comfortable for a few minutes, but we save the life. It is the recovery measures. Uh, for example, it's for technician both from vehicle. Other than that, we have a joint training from all of the department together. By joint training, we learn from other department procedure, and we know exactly what they are doing. So, in case if uh, uh, something is not going the right direction, we can measure it, we can stop it, and we can uh, working properly. And emergency together and uh, procedure. As I just said, an uh, example: if we saw that the someone you know uh, they forgot the procedure and they approaching the engine running the technician alert the crew captain shut down the engine and we shut down the engine right away right and uh, for example we have the other case but for the emergency procedure is covered it is to avoid the human accident to avoid the uh, uh, ground equipment collision and is it to manage the outcome. Okay. Here is just um, the presentation of our book about the uh, chain management for the specific safety event uh, APU failures. So uh, if you guys have any question, um, instructor have any question, we are here very happy to uh, accommodate any question. Thank you very much. Okay, that's fine. Uh, thank you for your uh, yeah, yeah, your complete uh, comprehensive uh, presentation. Uh, I just uh, just wondering uh, if APU, APU failure is a safety event because you 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 have uh, an APU failure. But for me, safety event it, it it is not really a safety event. 
So, yeah. but never mind. You 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 do a good job. You you analyze step by step. Uh, it, it, it's it's okay. And uh, if you I got the point that uh, actually, uh, uh, as I um, already mentioned above, that the the safety event and the APU failure for um, the flight crew is just normal operation. It's not really a safety event. But here yeah, we yeah. we are we are uh, we written this a safety event that for other department uh, they are getting to know about the this event may cause a safety related problems. It is okay. So yeah. it's actually a safety event. Okay, okay. So uh, I show you how uh, uh, I would like to to manage that. So uh, I take uh, I show I show me my I show you my presentation. Stand by one. Stand by one. Uh, it's uh, this one. Okay. Uh, -da -da -da. So. So, I try to analyze the change. So, my objective uh, assigned by the CEO was uh, during the next uh, half period, uh, half year period, uh, we dispatch uh, our 737 without uh, technical deviation. So, uh, without any APU for any reason. So, Never mind. So we do that for the six uh, next month, and uh, you you are in charge to to analyze uh, the, this this change. Okay. So the objective the objective uh, uh, the objective given by the manager is this one, and uh, I try to to develop to handle to handle this uh, this this thing. So the objective is to determine an accident scenario. Okay, so uh, for me, we will we, we'll see later on. So I give I give you step uh, step by step. So you see that my approach is a little bit different than the previous one. But once again, uh, you you may have a lot of approach. The objective is to start the management with all study perform and uh, and with uh, a good uh, assessment of the new risk if you create new new risk so my objective the objective of my team is to determine the accident scenario after that to assess in terms of likelihood severity uh, the uh, risk uh, to have uh, that kind of scenario i try to describe an unwanted event so one unwanted event uh, what i want to avoid regarding this scenario and at the end uh, at the end i draw my action plan uh, and i may continue by a follow up by so so and so okay so how how, how can i do that so for me safety issue what is safety issue uh, it's the accident scenario the worst case will be uh, personal ingested into engine so for me the accident if i take uh, the bow tie model on the right hand side, I have the uh, injuries, damage to personnel. So personnel ingested into NG. It is it is uh, uh, it is my uh, my my main uh, main concern and the worst case uh, in my uh, accident scenario. Uh, if you, if you look at uh, Google, YouTube uh, or something like that. You, you saw that uh, that kind of event has already had already happened in the past. Uh, so, unwanted event for me. Uh, that's the reason why uh, I am I am not uh, I'm not stick to your approach regarding regarding the bow tie. But never mind. We have to share our our feedback. I consider that the unwanted event. So, in the bow tie, the, in the middle, in the middle of the of, of the bow, uh, it's arriving uh, with engine running, and have uh, some obstacle. Obstacle means uh, human being, means material, uh, means yeah, human being or material. That's all. In the equipment restricted area. 
So to, 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 to have a good presentation uh, in my mind, I try to analyze the things like that. Okay, and risk assessment now in that scenario. So my question is, what is le, the likelihood of uh, the, uh, that kind of accident? And what is the severity? Severity maximum, because we ingest uh, personnel into, into an engine. Uh, so if, if uh, I continue the risk assessment, so severity is maximum because the catastrophic, we lost a human being and likelihood for this scenario, it's every flight because we operate all flight without APU. So we arrive at destination every time with uh, equipment in, in, the, in the area, people in the area and so on. So the, the risk assessment to have that kind of scenario is really high, really high. So uh, if I make a link between my risk assessment, catastrophic severity and likelihood, uh, so likelihood every flight, so it will be frequent, frequent because at each flight, I will be exposed to that kind of, and because uh, if I operate like that, uh, I, I operate like that, it is not possible because I am in a red uh, uh, rear. So it is not possible to work like that. Okay, so if it is not possible, either I cancel my operation, I do not operate any flight without accelerate, accelerate power unit, or I put in place uh, some, uh, uh, some mitigation measure. What kind? So, interesting in the, uh, to, to work with people from ground and link, uh, from uh, uh, flight, uh, from maintenance and so So I need to clarify or to improve. Okay, so how to improve, how to improve my process, procedure to keep all personnel object away from the aircraft. Okay, so I check if I have something like that or if, uh, if it is not the case. Procedure to keep all personnel object away from aircraft until the ground power unit has been plugged, uh, what is it? Basically, it will be the sign, the uh, anti-collision uh, light or, the, or any sign we may have between cockpit crew and ground crew. Okay, so I check, I check, I check that. Then I need to know what the procedure, what the aircraft procedure is which engine is still being operating because sometimes when you plug your ground power unit, you plug it on the right hand side, sometimes some, on some aircraft on the left hand side, some aircraft in the middle of the nose, close to the nose wheel, uh, nose wheel uh, gear. Uh, so depending on how you connect your uh, uh, ground power unit, uh, perhaps you may you may, from the cockpit side, switch off one engine instead of the other one. So we have to analyze, depending on the aircraft and so on, uh, what will be uh, done uh, regarding the uh, engine engine shutdown before uh, before stopping the aircraft. Okay. Accordingly, what what kind of check, what kind of communication between ground ops, between flight, cockpit crew, and so on and so on. Okay. At the end, ground power unit procedure must fit with the aircraft operation. So uh, personnel has to approach aircraft from side with no engine running. For sure, basically you have two engine running. If, if, you, if, your, uh, if your plug, uh, your ground power unit plug is on the left hand side, so you will switch off the engine number one. But 
if the ground power unit uh, came from the jetway, and it's very often the, the case, uh, it will be difficult to switch off uh, uh, engine one uh, because engine two will be very close to the jetway. So you have to analyze that also uh, with the uh, ground handler and ground personnel. Okay, so we try to improve our business with that kind of procedure. We have analyzed uh, all, all, uh, all, the, all the process. And at the end, we consider that if we put in place uh, some additional barrier, okay, the, uh, the uh, probabilities, likelihood to ingest somebody will be improbable, I suppose. I do, I do all the, the, the things for that. In that case, I move from 5A to 2A, so I can start my operation. And after that, I will need to check if the, uh, what I put in place, so what I put in place basically uh, will be, uh, will be uh, them, uh, will be efficient or not. So follow up, we have a risk at estimated at 2A, Okay, and as a follower, I consider that I can start my operation and I will check after a review, after one week, after one month and so on, I will check if my operation via the pilot report, via the ground handler report and so on, if my uh, operation are robust enough or not. Okay, so this is another way, another manner to, uh, to, to proceed for uh, the management of change. Uh, you see that I, I've not strictly follow uh, what I show you uh, after the first exercise, but the objective is, uh, he, the, the objective is to uh, consider that after the implementation of the change, everything is in place to keep the, the same or better uh, safety level. Any question? Hello? Hello? There's no questions. No question, okay. Who will be the next? Which group? <laughs> so we still have group one, group three, and group five left. So group has... five? Okay, group five. Let's go. Group <laughs> five. So group five? Yeah. Group five. Online. Group five online, online, right? Okay, group five, yeah. All right. Okay, thank you for your contribution last to uh, scenario and uh, for group five, uh, may I share my screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I like to share. Uh, Pierre, can you stop sharing and then I let other people to share? Up, 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 up. Yes. Yes, now you can share. Mr. Cooper. Mm -hmm. 
được không anh? Anh đang mute ạ. Anh chưa xem được, để anh xem nào. Em cho tiền chia sẻ rồi đấy. À, đây là who can share when someone else is sharing như kiểu là share đây. Thế là trò trò cả hai luôn, không quan trọng lắm. Được không? Anh vẫn chưa được nè. Anh nhấn nút share xong chắc phải ở nút bên đầu không ấn share lần nữa, share lại nhé. Có không xem được à? Có thấy màn hình của anh không? Dạ. Có thấy màn hình của anh không? Không, không thấy màn hình của anh đâu. Nói xe rồi sao nó không lên nhỉ? À. Nếu không anh gửi qua mail của em nhé, được không? Ok cho anh email đi. À, em cho anh. Mình không share ring anh share lại. Có để ai đâu rồi. Anh cứ gửi. Em gửi qua chat nhé. Đấy, anh thấy nhá, anh thấy là hai Vâng Anh gửi cho em cho Who is, who is presenting? Uh, Mr. Thuk is presenting group 5, but we are starting yeah. to share it. So he okay. will send me the PowerPoint so I can share. Okay, okay. No problem. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, if, by the way, if... Uh, Thanks. Uh, thank you your time. Uh, can another group uh, before me is okay? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Because I, I cannot share my screen. Yeah. 
thì anh không có động đâu anh cũng muốn là kiếm được cũng không cần phải làm không có cần có thể xem lại được không ạ? Em cho anh quyền co-host luôn. Tại vì bọn em không chưa nhận được mail. Nhưng mà nhưng mà đối cơ cũng mở ra chạy thì thì bắt tôi lên mà ra thì có thể bay được một sách lên vẫn không được mày ừ, anh dùng macbook không hiểu sao nó không lên được nữa. chắc là là cho một nhóm nào đã làm trước đi rồi anh gửi qua mail lại cho em rồi anh làm kế tiếp vâng vâng thế còn nhóm nào khác nếu một thì nhóm ba một hồng ba anh có có bao nhiêu anh không anh không có gì nữa ok anh chơi màn hình vợ chơi kia kia cho kia không cần nói kia rồi kia đây anh Phong này. Anh Phong nằm đấy mà. Một hộp. Vâng. Here group one will present in the meanwhile. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Câu bài của mình là cùng một là chiếu. Em chiếu cho anh luôn. Đây. Đây là đầu bài. Đây Okay, um, our, the time of uh, group number one is implement uh, pushback operation. Ah, okay, number one. Okay, okay, it's not number five, it's number one. Okay. Yes. The first is to identify the stakeholder. In the uh, post back process, we, uh, we define the stakeholder including uh, ABC uh, controller, uh, flight crew from the airline, uh, yeah. staff from AMO, and ground staff from the ground service company. Ground staff including the check, check, the, check the driver and uh, clear and monitor staff. And uh, in, in this process, we, we define uh, some hazards. The hazard may be from the organization. The first lack of the combined procedure. Here, yeah, combined procedure, it means that uh, procedure for, for, for co work uh, between the airline, between uh, airline, uh, among uh, airlines. Ground service company and MRO. Be, uh, be, be, beside the friend specific procedure from the airline or pilot, from MRO for technical staff, uh, from uh, ground, ground service company have a uh, procedure for pushback process, but maybe they, they, have, uh, they have no combined procedure of pushback process yeah, in uh, hazard of uh, organization maybe the uh, rostering the uh, rostering process or uh, lack of monitor or oversight activity and uh, hazard may be from the open environment uh, and environment in the in airport, maybe the grounded with the aircraft, starting side by side, or vehicle uh, in uh, in the in the ram, or uh, working environment, maybe the noise noisy in the in the in the ram, or or lack of uh, lack of 
lighting or equipment, support equipment. Maybe the environment, maybe the low visibility in the, in bad weather yeah. or hot or cold weather in the in the airport or in the run. And other other hazard maybe the because the COVID nineteen uh, pandemic a lot of staff have work for a long time. So they, they they can they they may forget everything. Yeah. And uh, and the risk, uh, the risk may be rise from the hazard. Uh, I will start the to start with the fee of pushback. Maybe do not know how to cope. Cooperate with the other staff from other company, maybe because of uh, the pushback team include of a person from the staff from uh, AMO, from the uh, service company, maybe from airline. So each, each person has a duty, private duty, but they, they may not know to, uh, to, to cooperate with other person from other. To be provider, maybe the zero may be stopped. The staff do not follow, follow the procedure. Then uh, staff may be lost communication, and uh, staff may be lost aware awareness uh, in the uh, situation. Loss of cooperation with other person from uh, other company. And the, the last the, the last reason the worst time uh, during the pushback aircraft may be may uh, collide with the uh, um, obstacle in the ram or in the airport. So uh, so we have to the to uh, to set up the uh, mitigation plan. Yeah, the first uh, we have uh, to, uh, to to retraction given to the uh, our staff because uh, they a lot of uh, staff have work for a long time because of the COVID nineteen. So uh, retraction should be given to them. Yeah. So. Uh, we have to establish the combined procedure for pushback staff. <clears throat> and other, we have to review the procedure regularly, especially after the pushback incident. We have to uh, review the procedure, maybe uh, procedure need to be uh, revived or amend. Okay. So as the other way in other way we have to program uh, company have to program provide more uh, support uh, equipment for example uh, handheld lighting uh, or as a or the horn yeah to push back in the night we have the lighting on uh, hot. And other, we, uh, uh, we miss the uh, oversight, oversight activity of uh, local authority or uh, uh, monitor of the QC, uh, QC system or uh, audit from uh, QA system. Yeah. After the each, uh, each, uh, incident, uh, of uh, pushback, we have a debriefing, debriefing for our staff, uh, and as a, we, we can uh, set up the data, safety data for uh, pushback and measure regularly. Yeah. So uh, I think we the own uh, own about the risk of uh, pushback. Uh, uh, Process will be the 
will be at the acceptable level. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Uh, any additional remark uh, from the group, or, or I'll show you. I'll show you the way uh, we may proceed. Uh, up, uh, I show you the way we may proceed. Uh, okay. Okay. So. Oh. So we saw we saw via via the film that uh, our pushback procedure is not uh, is not very simple as we may as we may think about. Uh, so uh, I will try I will try with uh, this example to to stick to stick to the to the methodology. Uh, uh, it's it's another another way to another way to proceed. So I show you how. We uh, we can uh, we can manage uh, we can manage with that kind of uh, of uh, change. So first, uh, I introduced during uh, the theoretical approach that we need to develop the case. Uh, so uh, we consider in that case that it's a new operation we introduce in in the airline, and uh, because it's a new operation, for sure, uh, in our organization, it would be a deep change. So uh, and I try I try to stick to stick to uh, to the process I have developed uh, yesterday. So first of all, uh, first of all framework. So it's clear we we never perform a same pushback. We plan to do that uh, right right now for the fleet, and we try we try to uh, to uh, to define to to define what is necessary. So first, the framework, uh, clear, simple, uh, easy, easy. Second one, appoint responsible. So okay, I took somebody in my organization uh, to 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 perform the study, and uh, so basically it could be the SMS manager. And after that, uh, we evaluate the need for safety study. Uh, yes, we'll need safety study because it's the first time we perform a pushback. So we do not know what is pushback. Basically, uh, we, we leave the stand uh, by, our, by our own. So uh, we, we, we are going to some specific airport. So yes, we need a safety study to analyze that. With uh, what kind of people? So uh, when, uh, when you look at who is involved in the, in the pushback, you see that you have uh, air traffic control, for sure. Uh, you, have, uh, uh, you have a cockpit crew. Uh, and and then do you have the push driver or the, the guy who is uh, or, or the wing the wingman or something like that? So, for example, you need pilot. Uh, perhaps also you need maintenance because maintenance guy uh, because in case of problem, uh, in case of problem with safety pin or the problem with uh, uh, the main landing gear, uh, you 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 will have some maintenance uh, maintenance section. Uh, so basically, uh, people involved, uh, flight, pilot, so flight crew, pilot, ground, uh, ground personnel, ground handling, uh, subcontractor, basically, and, and perhaps also training, training for pilot, how we perform a pushback, and training for uh, ground personnel, uh, how we perform a pushback from the ground side. Okay, after that, a comparison. Uh, I conduct a comparison between previous and new situation. So previously, we do not uh, push any aircraft. So it's a quite new. Uh, it's a quite new, and that's the reason why I have to perform. I have to perform a, a safety analysis. Okay, uh, and to do that, I need I need to to check to check the interface between people involved. Uh, and you see, you see. Uh, during the you saw with the film and you may imagine that the most critical phase uh, during a push it's a good communication and good awareness uh, from the pilot side and from the ground side so basically uh, situation awareness and communication are, are, are very essential if we take some people from maintenance it will be uh, to react after an issue, to react after an event, and so on. But 
during the push itself, uh, most critical phases uh, take into account good communication uh, between uh, between uh, aircraft uh, aircraft and uh, ATC aircraft and uh, ground personnel, and also uh, good situation awareness from the uh, tug tug driver. Okay, so people involved involved with the study will be pilot, will be maintenance guy, ground staff. Uh, at station and uh, run safety equipment maintenance staff uh, because you have to maintain uh, to maintain uh, properly the uh, operationality of uh, of your uh, of your truck. Okay, so I I, I continue uh, I continue my uh, my study. After that, I need to conduct a risk and uh, and uh, to 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 elaborate. Uh, to elaborate, to write, to list uh, action plan, some action plan. So, risk management as baseline, we use uh, the KO, we use a risk assessment performed by over airline and so on regarding pushback, because I am a brand new for pushback, but a lot of company perform that. So, it's quite easy uh, to collect together a lot of information, report, and so on regarding pushback. Okay. Uh, so, uh, risk assessment. What what will be the worst case? Uh, the worst case during a push. So, safety issue. Uh, safety issue basically uh, basically will be uh, injuries. Uh, will be uh, nose landing gear damage. Uh, will be uh, surface condition difficulties. Uh, example on that. Uh, you are during uh, you are during uh, uh, winter. Uh, it's a winter season. Uh, the taxiway or the apron is a little bit slippery uh, due to ice or due to snow or something like that. And uh, you try to push your airplane. Uh, and after pushing your airplane, uh, be, to avoid any uh, engine uh, ice uh, ingestion, you, you put the uh, you put uh, anti ice the engine and the uh, so you may have uh, perhaps uh, some difficulty to continue the push if your tractor is not uh, big enough to do that. Okay, so you see that depending on the season, depending on the material, depending on the aircraft, uh, you may face with some uh, difficulties uh, during the push. Okay, after that, you will try to, to find out any, any mitigation measure. To take into account, uh, in order that the interfaces uh, are not uh, are, are robust enough to perform to perform the, the the push and not creating a new risk. Okay. To check to check that, it's interesting uh, to put in place a key performance indicator, uh, and uh, it will be interesting also when we'll have implemented the change uh, to check if uh, what we put in place uh, is efficient or not, if we don't miss any, anything or something like that. Okay, so if we continue the process, if we continue the process, okay, we need to prepare a project plan for that. Uh, it's necessary to select, to analyze what kind of equipment are necessary for my type of aircraft. If you push an Airbus 330 and if you push an Airbus 380, you don't need the same uh, pushback tractor. So uh, you see that depending on what kind of aircraft, what kind of operation, in what kind uh, of weather condition you do that, you may uh, select one type or another type of equipment. Okay, after that, uh, we need to work on the team familiarization with uh, new equipment. Uh, perhaps for the ground handler, it's a common one, but he has to take a new, new procedure coming from your airline. But if it's a new equipment also for the, uh, for the ground handler, uh, you have to manage that uh, from 
his side and your side. Okay, same for the maintenance of this equipment. And uh, uh, beside that, perhaps you will need training program for the uh, ground handler, uh, training program for the driver, or you need also perhaps a training program for the crew, uh, because if crew has never uh, performed any, any, any pushback, he has to be trained at least with a flight, with a flight uh, instructor. Okay, so we prepare this project plan and after that we implement it. Uh, so training the crew, safety department and every personnel in this activity has to be trained and communication will allow personnel to understand the reason of all change. So it's necessary that when you have uh, uh, implement uh, when you have implement uh, when you have uh, written your plan and you want to implement it you need to communicate around uh, what you, you you plan to do so grand staff communication what is a pushback responsibility responsibility sorry uh, wing uh, wing walker taxi driver the interface with uh, the fly crew Okay, pilot communication. So it was it was an important issue. Uh, if you if you if you read uh, if you read the report regarding pushback, you will see that all all event incident and so on are linked are linked to bad either a bad communication uh, between uh, between cockpit crew and, and ground staff or uh, a lack of situation awareness during the push. Basically, you will have uh, those, those issues. Okay, so uh, after that, you need to try and test operation to, vet, to validate if what you put in place is correct. So you can do that uh, via simulator, or you do the, you do that during the, the real uh, the real life. Okay, and after that, you have uh, to write uh, the uh, backing procedure from the uh, ground side uh, and, and uh, also from the, uh, uh, from the uh, cockpit side. Okay, so you see that uh, once you have implemented everything after that, Okay, you, you need to, 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 to define some performance indicator. What kind of indicator you may put in place? Uh, problem, problem of communication. Okay, uh, problem of situation awareness. Okay, should be interesting. Uh, perhaps problem uh, with regard to the uh, equipment and so on and so on. So, you may, you may put in place some, some, some indicator. Uh, also, what is interesting to do in that kind of operation, when you perform a deep, a deep change, uh, for sure it's to perform a very quickly inspection, audit, something like that, uh, in order to, to check that uh, there is no hole, uh, no hole in the, uh, nothing has been has been uh, uh, has been forgotten. Okay, uh, and you can do that uh, audit inspection, yes, but also also via some uh, review meetings uh, between the station, uh, between the maintenance, uh, and uh, between the uh, the uh, over uh, over uh, stakeholder. Okay, and at the end, uh, you, you follow your, the, your risk assessment. So you have evaluate uh, depending, depending on the worst case scenario, you have evaluated uh, some uh, uh, risk assessment, you perform some risk assessment. So uh, during the follow-up, you check if you reach uh, effectively uh, the level you have a, a plan to reach. That's all for me.
Do you have uh, Do you have any 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 question? Additional uh, additional things to to present or something like that uh, regarding this uh, uh, this scenario, this uh, subject? No, the group doesn't have any more. Okay. Okay, so who will be the next one? We have uh, we have still a number three and number five, I think. Yes, I would suggest that we have a quick break, ten minutes. Break, okay. And then okay, at what time? At what time we start again? Uh, three fifteen, so in ten minutes. In ten minutes, that's fine. Okay, we come back. Thank you. Vâng, mười lăm phút. Mọi người ta quay lại mọi người nhưng mà bảo mười phút thì tự vì mười lăm phút rồi mới lại. Hai phút thôi ạ. 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 Five. Number five. Okay, that's fine. Who is presenting? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Please share yeah, my screen, please. Oh, nice screen. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try my best. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm. Uh, on behalf of my group, group FIP, uh, my small uh, presentation about the uh, runway extension with continuous aerodrome operation. Uh, as you see the title, this year uh, uh, we still keep in the operation and with one one uh, one runway or some uh, some some part, uh, some area in the aerodrome is closed. It's a fight to the, the operation, but uh, I think it's mostly it's a fight to the uh, to the uh, operation only and uh, but if we are cannot uh, good management uh, about the risk everything we may lead to the the beach uh, incident or accident later and uh, please uh, uh, give me the the last uh, the last uh, slide please the last one the last one uh, yeah that's it uh may i go opposite why not go from the beginning i'm, I'm going to the from the from the bike uh, first because uh, i want to give you the one example now this is uh, if i due to the, the real sky like this in ho chi minh city uh, last two years we have the construction uh, repairing about runway to five right and euro seven left and also uh, making more some taxiway and uh, after everything is ready already, is uh, they uh, made the construction already. And uh, our fleet 321, we have fly from uh, Thursday to the last. Uh, the flight crew have wireless during the approach in the last with the vertical speed is more than 2,000 feet per minute at last 1,000 feet AGL. You see, uh, is see, I think this is the 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 the, the, the track already. And not the risk, and why we have why we have the uh, the incident like this, because uh, first of all, uh, the fly is uh, departure from Tasnyat. This is uh, the, the 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 airport's uh, departure is under construction, and so many traffic. The fly will delay before departure more than uh, forty five minutes already, and when they approaching the last uh, airport, they have more delay uh, holding about more than uh, 30 minutes and after that the crew is very very tired they have the fatigue and after that they start the approach and uh, they are high uh, with the profile at the at the very soft i know they try to to uh, to go very deep and uh, Luckily, aircraft is landing uh, normally, uh, no further, uh, no further uh, incident. But why we have this one? And uh, please wait for me to the first, uh, the second, the second slide, please. 
Yes, uh, for our uh, for our group, we uh, we might uh, one study, but in a very short time and uh, not good preparation, we have just all like this. And uh, first, the the study frame for the management this year. Why we have this kind because uh, uh, the so many uh, aircrafts coming due uh, due to the, the airline expansion. Uh, bamboo we said and also Vietnam Airlines receive more aircraft. We have no spy and uh, aircraft uh, airport must be uh, re uh, construction. Might some uh, parking and also the runway is not so good uh, due to uh, heavy traffic uh, landing. And uh, for the study frame, we also related to the airline ATM uh, air tra uh, traffic management and uh, ACV. This is the ground company supply for the own equipment on the airport and own ground service company. And uh, the, the time for this one is uh, rough, uh, approximately one year. First, the people involved here is uh, the local authorities and crew ATC control ground staff. And we have the band mass. You see, we have only uh, or the management, we must be achieve the, uh, the safety requirement. And uh, the second thing, this is the OTP performance with very, very heavy traffic. And uh, for the data collection, we uh, collect from the, uh, uh, the flight crew, pilot, and ATC, and also the ground staff report, and also via the statistics. And after that, this must be uh, uh, apply some KPI, analyze the uh, number of, uh, of the fly, but I can manage and the reduction of the delays, how, how to reduce uh, reduction, uh, reduct the, 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 the delay time for the, the fly, and also the safety achieve. And uh, we have some accident or uh, barrier related. Due to uh, operation, let's see the fly have the very big delay and uh, taxiing. If you are not uh, pay uh, caution, extra caution, uh, you will have, uh, you go to the wrong way. And it's happened already once, one aircraft is uh, uh, past the whole line uh, entering the wrong way without the clearance already. Besides, we have the, the some uh, foreign uh, objects uh, because uh, due to the construction, we have so many uh, things and uh, vehicle, uh, transport station uh, equipment to the, uh, uh, the the construct area, and uh, maybe uh, the the foreign objects. This may be uh, uh, the risk for the aircraft taking off and even uh, for the taxi. Besides, we have the some diversion and uh, wrong loading for the, uh, some uh, passenger take the wrong uh, gate boarding and also for uh, cargo loading also. And the last one for us, this is the fatigue of the flight crew if you have the, the, the long delay, not only for crew and also the, from the ATC side, they are also the fatigue and also the ground staff on the people here is uh, quite fatigue during uh, the construction. And uh, please go for a nice slide. Please. Here we uh, we saw some uh, just some assemb assemble for the uh, for the evaluation uh, of us about the probability and the severity for assemble with the foreign uh, objects uh, we put. In uh, in three and each and uh, the last column, this is the the solution uh, we can apply. So this is uh, airport authority. We check the purely about the, uh, the surface, the, the take off and landing area, also the taxi parking area. Uh, the second one, this is the shock up uh, fuel for holding because uh, so many traffic. Uh, approach in internet and we cannot uh, fly in for this 
but sometimes it happen uh, for uh, for our fly our uh, operation node. So we put the 4E and uh, the solution. We have the OGC. We, we have the processor. We have the noise dish about the fuel uh, for for holding in this period. Diversion potential also the same, and also we have the uh, the extra fuel for for uh, for operation also if. Uh, be long among the owner company uh, on the airline. We have the change schedule which is, uh, for better arrangement for ATC for traffic uh, landing. And uh, fatigue due to the delay ATC and uh, crew and staff. We have the, the fatigue system uh, monitoring. And uh, traffic collision, uh, collision movement around and uh, between the aircraft and vehicle, uh, we have uh, uh, some case uh, report already with the uh, we, we, uh, we traffic uh, aircraft with the, the vehicle on ground. And uh, our side, we have the solution that we have to uh, highlight on the SB about for the taxi, for example, uh, 321 aircraft. Uh, when we uh, forget the runway and we have make sure that we have the clear taxiway and we receive full clearance, understand on the clearance. We start to disarm, get a disarm the, the spoiler to, to get the signal for the first or follow the, the other landing sequence. This is just one point, uh, small point inside. And the wrong cargo loading, we put the two each. This is uh, really happened. And, uh, but we have some already and we push and uh, and chewy and you see that on the the, the the item here just green and yellow and uh, we go further for the uh, for the, the implement and we apply the brochure and please for the next slide please. And uh, we have the action plan here and the OCC rostering uh, is uh, might the uh, schedule for flight crew, cabin crew, everything he, uh, with the suitable time. And uh, training for the term specific, we apply, we remind the crew rats is due to the under the construction, we have to follow exactly the SOB and that's the checking everything before we go for the flight and we start the approach or anything. And also besides some specific department in uh, some uh, area on, on ground, maybe also they have uh, their own training uh, to follow up uh, the, uh, during the airport uh, under construction. And uh, we uh, imply the document uh, with the fleet and FOE will be uh, issue some uh, uh, notice for flight crew for operation. And for the flight dispatch conversion, uh, they have to the beach, uh, the whole control for the airline, and I can make the uh, the flight dispatch is uh, on time and manage the the, the fuel, and uh, even for the crew, she must be uh, in a good cooperation with us. Okay, that is uh, on uh, our presentation. Thank you for listening and. Uh, Please you go for some comment, uh, Captain Pierre. Pierre, you're on mute, so we cannot hear you. I am on mute, like that it should be better. Uh, so thank you for your presentation, uh, quite clear, comprehensive, and uh, uh, for me you, you, you see a lot of, uh, lot of uh, major uh, worst case, so, so it's, it's quite interesting, and uh, I try to show you you how uh, I have managed that kind of event because it was a case uh, in Charles de Gaulle. So uh, I show you, I show you my way to proceed on that kind of airplane. Okay, may I share the screen? Yes, you can share the screen. Okay. We can see your screen. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, the objective was uh, runway extension with continuous aerodrome operation. Uh, it was uh, it was in uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle uh, ten years ago. Uh, the objective was not to, to close one runway, but to keep all runway open and to uh, and to have some. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> And to have some some works to extend the runway. So uh, I'm sure you are not, you are not familiar with uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport, uh, but Charles de Gaulle Airport you are you have a four runway oriented east west. So zero nine right left and uh, and zero eight uh, right left. So you have four runway. And at this uh, at this time, uh, the objective was to extend to extend uh, the external runway the north the northern runway uh, in order to, uh, to, 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 to have uh, much more capacity. So uh, we, so uh, basically uh, the extension has been performed by Aéroport de Paris, who is in charge of the, of the, of the airport. Uh, and uh, uh, Aéroport de Paris told to the, uh, told to the uh, operator, uh, take care, we plan from, uh, from uh, a given date to another one uh, to extend, to work, to, work on, uh, uh, to work on the extension of the remote. So the objective was to analyze uh, that kind of change in terms in term of fly safety for sure, but uh, eventually in, in terms of uh, everything. Okay, so the objective was that, uh, to show you uh, the black, uh, the black uh, uh, part of the, of, the, uh, of the map was uh, area closed uh, due, to, uh, due to the, the works. And uh, accordingly, uh, you see that the uh, uh, runway, runway crossing way, intermediate holding point and so on has been, has been modified. So first, uh, the team, uh, the team, we put in the team people from uh, Aéroport de Paris because they were involved in the, in the change and they, they, they are in charge of the, of the modification of the runway. Uh, we put in the team uh, people from uh, uh, air traffic control and we put uh, people from uh, 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 different uh, operations operator uh, operating either foreign operator or local one uh, because uh, it's also important to work with a foreign operator so uh, we we constitute a team with uh, all of us all these individuals and we try uh, and we try to analyze to analyze what uh, first uh, first we we try to we sort uh, what kind of uh, worst case we may face uh, uh, with from different uh, standpoint, from the airport standpoint, from the ATC standpoint, uh, and from the operator standpoint, because it's quite important to mix, uh, to mix everybody, uh, to, to speak the same language, and, and, and to, to, to show that uh, uh, the problem uh, that are managed by the uh, ATC has to be, has to be known by the, by the over part. So uh, first step after, uh, so the time frame was known by NOTAM, uh, runway extension works uh, between uh, uh, November and January, uh, never mind. Okay, the team, uh, people, expert from airport, expert from ATC, expert from uh, operators. Uh, and after that, we evaluate what kind of uh, worst scenario uh, may, we, may we face with. So uh, regarding the airport, regarding the airport side, uh, we, we list, we list uh, that, kind of, uh, that kind of worst scenario. Uh, incursion onto runway in use by a third party. Uh, for sure, you operate, you perform some works uh, while the operation are not suspended, uh, you may have uh, you may have uh, people perhaps uh, not really involved in the in the aviation that uh, proceed to to the runway. So, in terms of 
airport we took a look at incursion into runway in use by a third party incursion into runway by a third vehicle uh, so people asked to to move from one part to other part of the works uh, so uh, we are not aware of, of what happened in the in the in the, uh, in the area incursion uh, onto the radio facility uh, uh, adp uh, it's uh, aeroport de paris uh, so uh, incursion in the radio facility uh, by vehicle of a party Okay, uh, incursion by work site personnel onto the runway or taxiway utilities. Uh, difficulty for the uh, uh, rescue uh, fire brigade. Air FFS is, 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 uh, is a fire guy, the fire brigade. So difficulties to, to access to the neighboring aerodrome zone for uh, intervention. Uh, in that case, it was in the northwest part of the airport. Uh, the temporary uh, obstacle, cranes uh, put in place uh, to, um, to, to perform the job. Uh, and the cranes uh, set up uh, in within a service area without any authorization, perhaps. Obstacle obstructing a takeoff now. So uh, the, the, when, you, when you take off uh, facing west, you, uh, you will have uh, to overfly uh, the, uh, the works zone. And uh, on the other hand, final approach on the other, uh, on the other uh, runway, so 09 right, uh, while the runway is close to landing. So uh, that is some risk. Perhaps we may find out a lot of over risk, but the major one, uh, we were interested to, to look at was this uh, 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 event. Okay. Uh, so uh, after that, uh, after that, uh, we look at the uh, same approach for the uh, air traffic control. Uh, and for air traffic control, what uh, will be, what would be what would be the worst cases? So incursion by works vehicle on the uh, active runway where we perform some works. Any aborted takeoff? So for any reason, an aircraft uh, plan to take off and uh, try to abort this takeoff for any reason. Uh, the uh, problem regarding a lineup on the uh, opposite center line. Uh, the problem of clearing the taxiway and the change of procedure in poor visibility. Because for sure, uh, if, you, if you perform works uh, during poor visibility, you may face with a new, uh, new, uh, new issue. So, uh, event uh, regarding the airport, event regarding the ATC, and at the end, up the, uh, the accident scenario uh, regarding the, uh, the operator. So what kind, of operate, what kind of accident scenario may we face with? Yeah. Basically, runway excursion. So we, 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 we exit the runway for any reason. Uh, collision on ground will be a major, major issue also. Collision with vehicle, collision with individuals and so on. Or uh, CFIT. Why CFIT? Uh, because uh, you take off with the wrong performance and uh, you are not able to take off within the limit of the runway. And uh, in, that, uh, in that way, you go, you go directly on ground. So you see that uh, from the perspective of ATC, uh, aeroport, airport, and uh, operation, we have a list of uh, major uh, event that may, we may face with during uh, uh, a runway, a runway modification. So after that, how we proceed? Uh, we try, we try regarding the upside. On the upside, we try to uh, analyze uh, the unwanted event. 
So, for example, what kind of unwanted event uh, may, may, may we have uh, in, in this scenario? Take off with uh, inappropriate performance or data and data conf or configuration, sorry. Why? Uh, because you don't have to take into account the right runway length. You don't take into account the limit due to new obstacle, cranes, and so on. So you may take off with inappropriate uh, uh, performance or configuration, for example. You, second one, vacate the runway via a closed taxiway. So it is, it is also an unwanted event. To refer to the bow tie, uh, unwanted event is the uh, it's uh, what is in the middle before the green uh, bricks that represent the barrier. And at the end, malfunction of guidance system effective aircraft ground control. Uh, for example, when you perform a low visibility approach, you do that, generally speaking, automatically. And if the, uh, the external signal uh, the external signal to, to, to show the airplane where is the runway uh, is corrupted by, uh, by any reason, uh, you may have a, a problem of guidance. So we, we develop, we develop the, the, three, the three and one event and we have analyzed, analyzed what kind of barrier may we put in place, and so, for example, take off appropriate with inappropriate performance data or configuration. Uh, you, may, you, you may protect your crew by a lot of things. First one, the uh, uh, information regarding ATIS, mentioning that the runway is shortened. Uh, the flight dispatch, uh, the crew awareness, you have, you have a lot of things. Okay, so we try to analyze According to that kind of unwanted event, we, we try to analyze what uh, kind of barriers are already in place. Are they, uh, are they uh, robust enough or not? Do we need to add something and so on and so on. Unwanted event regarding collision on, on ground. So this one was, uh, sorry, uh, regarding excursion. The same, what kind of unwanted event may we, may we face with uh, we follow an ATC clearance likely to interfere with aircraft or vehicle, vehicle ground pass. Okay, uh, so you see, you see on this unwanted event the interface between ATC and between the operator. Non conscious ground path, you taxi on the wrong way for any reason. Uh, you take off on the wrong, on the, on the wrong runway, you land, and so on and so on. Okay, uh, once again, malfunction of the guidance after affecting the aircraft control, okay, or unforeseen vehicle, aircraft, person, animals, and so on. Uh, for sure, you may, you may perhaps uh, uh, be sure that you are able to take off from this taxiway, but when you look at on the right hand side, uh, you see that another aircraft is lining up and trying to take off. So, we may face with that kind of unwanted event. At the, we continue, and we continue. Uh, we try to find the unwanted event related to a CFIT, so ground collision. Uh, following ATC clearance, like to interfere with aircraft or vehicle path? Yes. Non conscious uh, ground pass, taxi, and so on. It's the same. If you take off for the, from the run, run, run taxiway, uh, you don't have uh, enough uh, runway length, depending on your aircraft, uh, to take off. So uh, you, you will finish, you will finish uh, in the grass. Uh, then malfunction of guidance system also, and unforeseen vehicle. You see that you may have, depending on the unwanted event, you may, you, you may have the same, uh, the same wording. Uh, but the same wording may lead lead to different uh, to different accident scenarios, CFIT, runway excursion, and so on. Okay, so after that, uh, to continue to continue the, the analysis, to continue the analysis, 
the risk analysis, we try to, uh, to check, to list uh, all, all the barriers relevant to uh, control zone or uh, uh, recovery from each unwanted event. And that's a way we have proceeded at, uh, at the time to, uh, to analyze what kind of, what kind of barrier uh, we, we had uh, to put in place. And basically, we, uh, during, during that kind of operation, we insist in the, in the airline on uh, the cross-check of the performance, the cross-check of the, uh, of the uh, uh, taxiway, uh, um, taxi route, sorry, uh, and so on and so on. And uh, for sure, after that, we check that what we put in place, uh, what was uh, efficient via pilot report, via controller report, uh, and uh, each uh, the works uh, last lasted uh, lasted uh, six months. I, I, I remember. So each month uh, we make uh, we make a point. Uh, between ATC, between the airport, uh, between the uh, the operators, uh, to to share to share our feedback, to share our proce procedure, and so on. So it's uh, it's uh, it's another way uh, we we proceed for management of change. Uh, it's a real one. This one it's a real one, and uh, it's another way to proceed to proceed in. The, in a, in, a, in, a, in a process of, of change. And once again, what is important? Basically, you will have a problem at the interface uh, between discipline, interface between uh, different uh, user, ATC, uh, uh, flight ops, cabin, and so on. So uh, it's, it's quite important in that case when you perform a management of change, to see, uh, to see the, to have a look, uh, uh, a precise look, a sharp look at the interface. Okay, any question? Hello, hello? No question so far. <laughs> no question so far. So last one uh, will be, uh, will be, will be, will be, uh, co activity. Okay, let's go. Uh, so, uh, group three, we will uh, a presentation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I will do the with the presentations about the uh, case uh, uh, co activity during the uh, schedule uh, turnaround. Um, about the uh, turnaround uh, in the situation. Uh, in a Pacific airline, we have a turnaround time uh, about 35 to 40 minutes uh, for I-220 uh, aircraft. Yeah. Uh, so it the uh, time pressure for the, on the activity like uh, uh, upload the uh, luggage, upload the uh, passenger, uh, refuel, um, uh, for ground handling uh, service. Uh, for technical um, uh, ground check and uh, uh, also for the uh, air stay or air bridge abroad. Yeah, uh, so it have many risks uh, for um, turnaround. Yeah, for quality in the turnaround. Uh, but uh, we just uh, focus on the uh, major uh, activity or major action uh, that have a high risk. Um, the first one is um, about the uh, um, stay uh, abroad to the aircraft um, uh, may have a risk uh, about the damage to aircraft, about the collision. Um, um, the cause uh, uh, may uh, make the aircraft uh, damage. And um, the risk is uh, medium or high, uh, uh, maybe a two C. And uh, we have um, uh, preventive uh, 
action uh, or the barriers for um, prevent the damage to aircraft for the uh, we uh, we only have a procedure uh, um, uh, guidance uh, to uh, craft staff uh, to operate the airbase or the uh, air stay, but uh, sometimes the damage has occur occur. So uh, um, we need to the recurrent changes or the um, protect the air stay with the rubber uh, at the contact bone with the aircraft. Um, uh, related to the air stay, we have a uh, um, Passenger may uh, may be uh, injury when the upload passenger to the bus. Um, when the passenger go uh, downstairs, uh, maybe uh, sleep uh, in the rain uh, rain condition. Uh, so um, um, the cause is uh, due to uh, the bad weather. Uh, but uh, we will uh, have a um, uh, some uh, uh, to uh, uh, put some uh, anti sleep uh, to uh, keep the passenger uh, not uh, sleep when uh, go down to stay uh, as they and uh, I put uh, this uh, uh, risk uh, the high risk uh, to see because uh, maybe injury to passenger and uh, affect to the uh, brand yeah and uh, uh, do, uh, when uh, uh, turn around, we have the catering abroad to the aircraft, and uh, uh, maybe have a risk about the um, um, flight attendant uh, phone down when uh, do the service with catering. Uh, so um, uh, the preventive action is uh, enhanced for the corridor for the um, catering charge uh, to. Uh, uh, keep the flat air not fall down uh, and uh, uh, this risk is uh, put in high due to the effect to the um, uh, injury uh, to the uh, person uh, here the flight attendant and um, due, uh, due to the uh, pressure time for the uh, turnaround time uh, maybe the uh, flight attendant may uh, Contact with the hot water when the uh, servicing for the or the catering, yeah. So uh, the preventive uh, action is the um, uh, more the protection equipment, a PPE for the uh, flat attendant. And uh, we have a risk about the uh, ground servicing, uh, um, uh, like the uh, uh, water service, uh, to uh, toilet service, or the fuel service. Um, and about the uh, fuel service, we have maybe have uh, the risk that the uh, fuel truck can uh, contact with aircraft uh, and uh, uh, make aircraft uh, damage. Yeah. And um, we have we also have a procedure to uh, uh, to keep the distance. Uh, uh, the future with the aircraft, but uh, maybe they uh, the human factor they not follow the procedure, so uh, we have the um, barrier uh, the preventive action that um, the recurrent training uh, for the um, uh, ground staff who do the uh, refuel and. Um, uh, maybe uh, the when uh, we do the refuel, uh, have a fuel spill, yeah, um, to the aircraft bay, yeah. So uh, we we also have a procedure for uh, in that case. So uh, if happen, if it uh, occurs, so we have to do the uh, uh, well, alert uh, or the. Uh, uh, one in notice or the recurrent training for the ground staff in uh, this case. And uh, one more um, case uh, risk about the uh, COVID-19 uh, infection for the on the department when uh, we do the turnaround, um, the ground staff can uh, contact with the, um, the catering uh, 
uh, staff and the uh, cabin crew or the uh, flight crew. So uh, uh, they uh, may be a close contact and uh, maybe be uh, um, um, infected with the COVID-19. So uh, the solution or the preventive action for mm -hmm. this uh, risk is the uh, 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 protection equipment uh, for the own uh, the, um, uh, staff, uh, cabin crew, uh, especially in the repurchasing uh, flight. Um, uh, I put it in uh, uh, also in the medium risk. Uh, so uh, uh, that's on the the, the major uh, the high risk uh, group three uh, have uh, described. Yeah, that, that that's all. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Uh, let me share my screen to show how we can manage that also. Uh, so, oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, yeah. Oh. So uh, this exercise co-activity during a scheduled turnaround, uh, I show you two ways to proceed. Uh, first one, uh, voluntarily, voluntarily uh, we take into account just the, uh, uh, the ground personnel issue, and uh, we try to analyze uh, uh, what we may put in place uh, to avoid any damage, injuries, to ground personnel, uh, because uh, during a ground activity, you have a lot of people uh, outside, the pilot uh, performing uh, the walk around, the maintenance uh, performing uh, some uh, additional check, uh, the catering, uh, loading uh, the, uh, the aircraft, uh, the ground, uh, ground staff, uh, loading, loading the aircraft. So you have a lot of people around and voluntarily, uh, we just have a look at the uh, ground personnel. So uh, we try to analyze, uh, we try to analyze uh, what kind of risk and what is event hazard. So uh, the potential accident was related to, uh, to injuries death or injuries uh, for, for, for ground, uh, ground guy, ground personnel, sorry. And uh, we, we have a look, uh, we have a look to uh, add the different uh, prevention measures. So uh, to, 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 look at, to look at that, we, we just, but it's, it's, it's voluntarily we do that, we just took into account the environment. So, uh, uh, wind, noise, uh, condition, environmental condition, gas, uh, number of vehicles, uh, and so on. And when we discuss with, uh, uh, we, among the team, we may uh, list, we may list uh, lot, some, some prevention measures to avoid, uh, to avoid the, uh, the ground, uh, uh, ground issue, uh, personal injuries, and so on. Example, I have a list like that. Uh, this list uh, is issued from uh, a, big, uh, a big study uh, performed by uh, EASA, and uh, we, uh, at the interface of, of the, of the uh, uh, ground, uh, ground ops, flight ops, and so on. So what kind of prevention me measure uh, would be interesting to put in place. So keeping apart the flow of vehicle and pedestrian, uh, for sure you have a lot of people working around. Uh, so uh, it's necessary to, to clearly define a policy uh, for how you proceed when you walk around an aircraft, how do you proceed when you drive a car or a truck around a, uh, an aircraft and, and so on. So, Basically, one-way traffic line uh, for for everybody in order to to mix uh, to mix uh, two different population vehicle 
and and on the other other way the uh, the passometer. Uh, Restricting the number of vehicles is also a solution. Uh, and uh, otherwise, you may have uh, a truck for the fuel, a truck for the maintenance, uh, a, ladder, a ladder for, for to access to, to the wing. Uh, we have a, a catering track. You have, so you have a lot of things. So basically, we may work on a restriction of number of vehicles uh, around around the aircraft, coordination of factor, basically coordination uh, uh, with all actors. You have that in all study case. Uh, co coordination and communication, uh, basically you have that in all in in, in, in all things. Uh, work organization. Uh, essential for everybody. Perhaps it should be interesting that uh, maintenance works after the uh, offload of the airplane has been performed or something like that. Perhaps it should be interesting not to perform the, uh, the, fuel, the refueling uh, with, uh, with a maintenance section. So, so and so, so you see that we may work on some prevention measure regarding that. Speed limiter, for sure, it's, it's interesting. Uh, you may see that on some track, on some vehicle, you have a video camera uh, to, to move back, uh, to, to move back. Otherwise, you have a guide to move back uh, and to avoid any, any, any uh, collision with uh, over vehicle or collision with the uh, individuals. Uh, regarding uh, gas, uh, so we may work on a filter catalytic converter, uh, on, clo on closed cabin uh, during winter operation. It should be, it should be interesting. Uh, it should be interesting to work uh, to work with that. Uh, check uh, check regularly uh, the, the maintenance of vehicle because uh, you have uh, some uh, uh, some vehicle around the aircraft. But uh, sometimes, uh, if you check uh, properly the the maintenance manual of the vehicle, you don't have any 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 formal check. So it should be we discover on some vehicle that the manufacturer of the vehicle uh, did not provide us. Any any maintenance uh, manual, so so sometimes it, it seems to be it seems to be difficult to uh, to have that uh, now. Uh, Ten years, uh, twenty years ago, yeah, why not? But now it's it's quite uh, quite uh, uh, quite interesting to to see to see that uh, jacket, high visibility jacket, uh, wear by everybody, uh, crew, uh, everybody on the ground. So it's, uh, I think it's a good, a good measure to, to prevent, to prevent any, any, any problem. Safety shoes, uh, you, you work, you work in winter, so it's better to have uh, uh, anti-skid shoes uh, to, to walk around the aircraft or to, to wor work uh, on the aircraft. Ear protector, safety belts in the vehicle, and so on. So you see that we may, uh, we may raise. Uh, some uh, some prevention measure regarding that. Uh, after that, we we discuss uh, we discuss with with oh sorry, is not the right one. Ah okay. So uh, this is one way to proceed. I propose you same exercise, but uh, we we try to analyze. Uh, from uh, management of change, same. So regarding uh, safety, regarding uh, what kind of prevention measure may we put in place, uh, the coactivity, uh, like uh, we dock, uh, we dock the catering truck on uh, uh, door one right, and uh, after connection we put jetway uh, door one left. On some aircraft, the catering. Uh, is put in place uh, by the aft door on some airline it's for the front door so in that kind of exercise uh, we would like to analyze uh, the coactivity during a schedule uh, turnaround in that case docking 
catching a track door one and after connecting a jet a jetway on the door uh, one left. Okay, so uh, what, uh, what to do in that case? Uh, so select stakeholder. Okay, stakeholder will be uh, cabin crew, will be flight ops, will be expert from a, a ground handler, for example. Uh, we love to, to, to select the SOP related to, to everybody. So the SOP for the crew, cabin crew, or for the file, um, flight crew uh, to open to open the uh, to open the doors and so on. Uh, perform benchmark. Uh, so uh, this example is is uh, more or less close to your example uh, regarding we discussed yesterday regarding the uh, escape slide. Uh, we collect data, uh, the PyREP, uh, we perform audit and so on. We analyze the different trusts uh, associated to the to the change. Then, uh, then, then we try to analyze uh, different uh, worst case and uh, uh, example in, in, that, in that way. Uh, an example. So we perform some uh, co-activity. In that case, two exits are blocked. One left, one right. And so what is, uh, uh, what is the main issue? What is the main problem? Impossible to evacuate uh, via, via the front doors. Okay, so cabin crew managing the disembarkment via door one left. Uh, front cabin crew is not able for safety task. If we have to evacuate, it will be impossible. Uh, and, and third, uh, the menace uh, will be, uh, the, the, uh, the threat uh, will be regarding the trolley movement in the front of the galley during the disembarkment. And we, in that case, we may have the same passenger or crew injuries. Okay, so uh, we see that uh, we have three, three main, uh, main subjects. In that case, impossible to evacuate from door. So we have just the half door. And if needed, we need to, re, uh, to, to, to reallocate the task to the aft uh, cabin crew. Uh, second one, uh, front cabin, one, uh, one uh, personnel is dedicated to uh, disembarking, the other one is dedicated to uh, catering, so we are not able, uh, we are not able for safety task. And uh, at the end, uh, when you move your trolleys in front of the cabin, and if you uh, disembark people, uh, by the, the front, you may have some uh, passenger and crew injuries. So after that, we'll try to analyze. Oh. No. Ah. Then we we perform a risk analysis for each each threat. We plan some actions, some safety recommendation. We put in place some uh, key performance indicator, and for sure at the end, uh, we check the effect effectiveness. Sorry, of what we put in place. So this is uh, uh, yeah, this is the end of uh, this example. So I show you I show you five uh, five example. All are different. Uh, Oriented, pilot oriented. I am very sorry for that. Pilot oriented, uh, but uh, I, I I know very well this domain, so uh, I'm very sorry for that. So uh, once again, what is important to take into account during management of change? First, try to clearly clarify the framework of your job. To uh, make up a team. Uh, with all expertise and perhaps with somebody uh, not knowing your, your, your problem, but raising some additional question, sometimes it uh, should be interesting. And uh, after that, try to look at the potential uh, accident scenario, the potential uh, threat, and for each one, uh, evaluate evaluate the risk, 
put in place an action plan, implement your action plan and check if everything you put in place is efficient, is relevant first, efficient, and uh, after that, you will win uh, uh, in terms of safety, you will gain uh, some margin. Okay. So do you have uh, some uh, additional point to discuss, to see? Hello, hello? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> So I send uh, I send this morning a PDF. Uh, I send uh, this morning a PDF uh, with uh, the different slide we discuss. So with uh, with uh, the example. So what we saw yesterday, uh, generally speaking, and uh, on the theoretical part, and what we saw this morning. Uh, so you can uh, you can have that uh, uh, with uh, Mrs. Tien. I suppose because I send uh, I send the PDF this morning, and uh, uh, I am ready to answer any question now or later on. If you have any question, don't hesitate to uh, to give me your uh, your uh, to 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 share your 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 problem, your feedback, and uh, I will try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you. Um, I will send all the participants your email address. Is that okay? Later on. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah, they will can send a direct email to you if there's anything. Okay, that's fine. So if we close now, thank you very much for your participation. Very fruitful for me. I hope it will be also fruitful for you. And uh, I wish you a lot of lot of studies, a lot of studies, uh, safety studies in the in the next future. Yes, we will have a lot more. Yes. Uh, okay, no problem. Um, here, okay. Here, here yeah. one second, we will take a quick photo with you, like just there, and we like. <laughs> <one>. Okay. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try to get a photo with you. Yeah, so you stay there. <laughs> so we stay beside the street. So we just like right next to you. <laughs> 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 Rồi em mời các anh chị bật camera lên ạ. Okay, so we leave now. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much and good luck. Yeah.
Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, em chào các anh chị nhé. Chào các nhà. Xin chào mọi người. Chào mọi người. Chào các nhà. Hãy subscribe cho